Here's a dilemma. You're a movie producer making a movie that takes place when people use flintlocks. You need to give a whole bunch of extras flintlocks to fire blanks with. How do you pull that off? Thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and the way you tackle that problem is by giving the guys trapdoor spring fields that actually look like flintlocks. And that's what we have here. This is a movie prop firearm uh, that was a cartridge firing trapdoor spring field converted to look like a flintlock. And really, if you consider there's a lot to go wrong shooting a flintlock. It's complicated. They're muzzle loaded. The flint might not spark well. You know, this is a gun that really takes some practice to be able to use effectively and reliably. And the idea of trying to hand out a hundred of these things to a hundred completely, probably untrained movie extras and get them to be able to reliably fire on command on the first try for a take of a film, that sounds like a director's horrible nightmare. And the solution that these guys came up to is actually pretty clever. Yeah, it looks horrible at first. The idea is repulsive, but they did a, a darn good job at it. And I think it's a really clever solution. So let me show you exactly what they did to this. So we've got two big accoutrements that have been added to the gun here. One is this fake uh, pan cover frizzen spring. This has simply been bolted on. They used uh, a couple of the bolts that hold on the original lock plate and just extended them and, and stuck this on. The back piece, what appears to be the actual flint, this is a replacement for the original hammer. And it actually still functions as the hammer. So we can cock this back, just like a regular trapdoor, and then we can open the trapdoor breech. You could then insert a uh, blank cartridge. There's actually no reason that this wouldn't work just fine with live ammunition, but the whole point was blank firing. So you put in your blank and then you close the action. And then there is a little nub right there. It's a little hard to see. It's not really a protrusion. It's just a surface that's in the right position so that when it goes forward, it will actually hit that firing pin right there, push it forward and fire the rifle. But from this side, it just looks like a flintlock action. Now, of course, up close, you can tell that something's wrong and this isn't really right, but that's not the point. These are for use by large numbers of extras or actors if you're shooting the scene from a distance away, where this only has to look correct from, you know, 50 yards away or 10 feet away, far enough that on camera nobody will notice the difference. If you are filming up close, wanting the details of a, a flintlock, you would give the actor an actual flintlock. To further that uh, appearance of a proper reality, well, all these old flintlocks have brass hardware on them. So they have added this really just big chunky crudely cast uh, brass barrel bands to the gun. In fact, we can see here, these are just held in place by a couple of simple wood screws. The movie industry is, in, is interested in practical effectiveness and how the thing works and not so much how it looks for a gun like this. So the big old front, front band there. They did actually even cast a front sight into it, stuck a sling swivel on the front because that would have been appropriate for the time period. Got a cleaning rod in there. Of course, the original trapdoor rear sight would look weird in this context, so they just went ahead and took those off. And presto, you've got yourself a reliable blank firing quote unquote flintlock. Now, I think this gun came out of a company called Ellis Mercantile that did a bunch of firearms prop rentals for the movie industry. Can't be 100% sure on that. Uh, these guns, I don't know about this exact one specifically, but this exact style of conversion uh, were used in at least two movies that I can specify. One of them is the 1953 film Man from the Alamo, and the other is the 1960 film featuring in basically all roles John Wayne, uh, The Alamo. And there are some still shots here where you can really clearly see that, that this system is exactly what they've got for the prop guns. Uh, in the movie. So I thought this was a really neat conversion. Um, we've looked previously at, at some of the things that are done to make uh, blank firing conversions out of modern self-loading rifles for the, the movies. And if you're interested in that, I'll link to uh, one of my videos on that subject at the end here. But they were doing the same thing 
to get to the opposite end of the technological spectrum. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.